What is up guys, Incente here. Now I've been asking around to some of my viewers to sort of see what they want to see some more of. Uh, and some said invasions and some said like, you know, sequences, you know, trick moves, things that you pick up on the street, if you will, um, that no one ever actually teaches you. So in the spirit of that, I would like to start a new series of called Tech Skill. These are gonna be really short videos, probably five to eight minutes. Uh, that will teach you something that's commonly found uh, in Go games and show you really awesome ways to exploit positions. This skill focuses on deploying your stones and letting them get cut off from your base so they can swoop down from above and destroy your opponent's wall. I call this one the catapult. It's a really awesome set of sequences and I hope it helps in your games, so let's get started. Right, so I'm pretty sure you've all seen this position before in one way or another. Say black approaches, white backs off, black starts moyoing. White says, hey, I'm gonna approach your corner, which is the most logical move. Black pincers, white jumps in, black goes here, and we see this Joseki, and we see black building up a crazy wall right here. There are a bunch of ways to exploit this, and the most normal finish of this Joseki involves white playing here and black playing here. White gets a few points and a solid base, black gets giant wall and a stone to use it from. Some people might not like this particular variation, so I'm going to show you guys a way to catapult your stones over this wall and wreak all sorts of havoc. And it's really, really cool. You can find these on any really Joseki dictionary, um, but I figured having it on video and telling you guys would help me remember it. And it would also be easier for you guys to probably learn than to just click through sequences on a computer, because that's kind of boring. The key move starts with white playing here. There are a bunch of ways that white could take advantage of this. I'm just gonna show you the one. White playing here invites a cut. Now, if you don't know why white generally doesn't play here in the normal Joseki, it's because when white does play here, black can push, and now he can cut. White cannot defend both of these at once. And if white tries to defend both of them at once, it, something is going to get captured. We can see white Ataris, black Ataris here and black can successfully cut these stones off. But, 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 that is exactly what white wants because white is going to push up out and start a fight. Let's say that black, you know, decides to seal off his moyo or something to that effect and goes up here or maybe even goes here to try to just sanction off what he has. White has this Hane, and this is an amazing, amazing Hane, because watch what happens if black just defends. White has this cut. It's an amazing cut because of the following sequence I'm going to show you. You might think that this doesn't go anywhere. However, white can descend here, and this is where things really start to get exciting. Let's say black descends as well. White's going to Atari these stones. Of course, black can't try to escape. So he's going to have to take. White throws in to Atari them once more. Take. Atari again. Just like that. Not this one. Uh, this leaves a little more Aji behind than we would like. But this one. Now, we can see Black tries to escape. There is nowhere for him to go. Literally zero places for Black to go right now. And try as Black might, he cannot escape the Atari, and the entire wall gets captured from these stones that White catapulted over the wall to counterattack. 
This is an amazing trick sequence, a really, really awesome way to just basically win the game in the first 15 moves. Um, and it really tests whether your opponent knows what they're doing when they play this wall. The key for white is to play here. And if black does not play this move, then this move, um, he has essentially uh, lost <laughs> his entire wall. Because that cut is insanely, insanely strong. Insanely strong. You might ask, well, Sente, what would happen? Black does this. Does this not work? Still does. White can actually push out this way, and we notice that Black can't do this for the exact same reason he couldn't do it the first time. Atari. 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 And that is game, basically. Uh, so definitely Black can still uh, not really get out of this once he has committed by playing here. All right, that's it for the tech skill of this week. Uh, I will probably definitely put more of these up depending on how much people like them on all sorts of different situations, and hopefully you guys will enjoy them. I'll see you on the grid.